Welcome to Stars Sports News, your ultimate source for the latest, greatest, and hottest stories in the world of sports. We're thrilled to have you here, so make sure to subscribe our channel. Let's dive right into today's top stories. Messi makes history with fastest goal as Argentina beats Australia. Lionel Messi delighted fans in Beijing by scoring his quickest ever goal for Argentina in just 79 seconds. The world champions secured a 2-0 victory over Australia in a friendly match, with Rodrigo de Paul adding a second goal. Messi's impressive scoring streak for his national team continues as he approaches his 36th birthday. Joselu's late winner sends Spain to Nations League final. Substitute Joselu secured Spain's place in the Nations League final with a well-deserved 2-1 victory over Italy. Jeremy Pino gave Spain an early lead, but Italy equalized through a penalty converted by Ciro Immobile. As the match seemed headed for extra time, Joselu capitalized on a fortunate rebound to score the winning goal. Thane will face Croatia in the final, while Italy will compete for the bronze medal against the Netherlands. Conor McGregor denies sexual assault allegation at NBA Finals game. Conor McGregor has denied an allegation of sexual assault made by a woman who claimed she was forced into a bathroom at the Miami Heat's arena after Game 4 of the NBA Finals. McGregor's lawyer called the allegations false, and the Miami Heat stated they are conducting an investigation. The woman's attorney accuses McGregor of sexual assault, battery, unlawful restraint, emotional distress, and kidnapping. McGregor has faced legal issues in the past, including a previous sexual assault allegation in 2018. Ponting, England's bowling attack to struggle on flat pitches in ashes against Australia. Former Australian captain Ricky Ponting warns that England's aggressive, basball, approach will face challenges in the ashes if flat wickets are prepared. With injuries to Jofra Archer and Jack Leach, Ponting questions whether England's bowling lineup can take 20 Australian wickets per game. He expresses confidence in Australia's bowlers but raises concerns about their batting. Ponting anticipates a highly significant Ashes series, reminiscent of the 2005 edition, which he believes rejuvenated Test cricket. <laughs> Hybrid model, for Asia Cup allows Pakistan's World Cup participation. The Asian Cricket Council, ACC, has announced a, hybrid model, for the Asia Cup, with matches split between Pakistan and Sri Lanka. This arrangement paves the way for Pakistan's participation in the upcoming 50 Overs World Cup in India. The decision comes after India refused to travel to Pakistan due to strained political relations, leading to Pakistan's threat to boycott the ODI World Cup if the entire Asia Cup was held in another country. Feliciano Lopez becomes tournament director for Davis Cup Finals. Danish tennis player Feliciano Lopez, who will retire this season after a 25-year career, has been appointed as the tournament director for the Davis Cup Finals. Lopez, a four-time Davis Cup champion, takes over from David Ferrer in the role. He has previously served as the tournament director for the Madrid Open since 2019. Lopez expressed his excitement about the new opportunity and looks forward to focusing on the Davis Cup after his retirement from professional tennis. Australia implements testosterone limits for transgender athletes in elite female sport. Australia's Sports Authority releases guidelines recommending transgender athletes to maintain plasma testosterone levels below 2.5 nanomoles per litre for two years before competing in elite female categories. Thoughts federations have the flexibility to set their own thresholds. The move addresses the ongoing debate on transgender inclusion in female sports. Kendrick Perkins faces criticism for suggesting Yar Morant should play for the Heat. Kendrick Perkins received backlash after suggesting that Yar Morant should consider playing for the Miami Heat to revive his career. With Morant facing suspension for flashing a firearm on Instagram, Perkins argued that Miami's leadership and support system would benefit the troubled star. However, concerns were raised about the potential distractions of Miami's nightlife and party scene. Fans questioned the suitability of such a move for Morant. Mancini highlights Italy's need for attacking talent. After Italy's 2-1 defeat to Spain, coach Roberto Mancini stressed the team's need for new attacking options. Despite the defensive efforts, Italy struggled to create chances and conceded a late goal. 
Mancini highlighted the lack of quality forwards and emphasized the importance of refreshing the team. He also noted the successful first-half tactics but acknowledged a drop in performance in the second half. Schaufele matches Fowler's US Open record, downplays early success. Xander Schaufele matched Ricky Fowler's record-breaking round at the US Open by shooting a 62. He jokingly said, monkey see, monkey do, as he followed Fowler up the leaderboard. The low scores were unexpected for a challenging tournament like the US Open. Chaufele acknowledged that it's still early in the tournament and there is a long way to go. He expects the course to become more difficult in the upcoming days. That's all the time we have for today's sports roundup. Thanks for watching Star Sports News. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest sports action.